Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash, Supergirl, and all the other shows, because we're talking about the five night crossover Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's been officially confirmed it's going to be on five nights. We're going to be talking about that, the poster, and a bunch of other stuff that has been released just today at the CW upfront. So we've got a lot to break down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I am freaking out, and everyone is online because they released this poster that you're seeing on the screen right now. And it says five hours over two quarters. And so everyone was kind of confused at first because, you know, we weren't at the panel and we didn't have the presenter saying, you know, oh, this is what it means. So we didn't have Mark Pedowitz actually talking to us. So we saw this and now we have official confirmation that, and we'll talk about the poster in just a sec, that the CW is doing its longest crossover ever with five episodes on. The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and Batwoman, and it's going to be over five episodes, and it's going to be split into two quarters. So essentially, one quarter with three episodes is going to be airing in late 2019, so they're talking about December time, and two of the last episodes are going to be in early 2020. And so this came into speculation earlier today, when they revealed that Legends isn't going to be coming back until the mid-season premiere of all the other shows because, you know, they have their reasons. We're not actually sure as to why right now, but we were like, hmm, so is Legends not going to be in the crossover again? Like, what's going on? It's Crisis. We need more characters. We need tons of characters. And so, yeah, they've confirmed that it seems like probably Arrow, The Flash, and Supergirl will be the three episodes probably in late 2019 so they're talking about December time because they are the three leading shows and then you have Legends when it returns you know after the mid-season break that's going to be in 2020 so that'll be in January and then we'll have I believe the Batwoman episode or I could be wrong it could be maybe another way where it's Batwoman and Supergirl because you know they're both on Sunday nights now and then we go on to the next night and the next night would be The Flash. So we maybe have Arrow and then also Legends of Tomorrow in 2020 in January. I don't know, it could be any order, but for now, go check out my other video that released earlier today. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but I'm going to get it up as soon as possible. It's been crazy. I got a bunch of videos, so some of you guys might have missed some of them, so please be sure to check out the channel and just watch all of them because there is a lot of stuff that has been released today. Also, they released a Batwoman trailer. I will be trying to get that video out later tomorrow, so yeah, get ready for that. But anyway, let's get back onto Crisis on Infinite Earth. So that's super exciting, like beyond exciting. We've all been praising the CW for these crossovers, but we've been hoping in regards to Crisis, because Crisis is the best DC comic book in my opinion, but also one of the biggest, that we would get like a week-long crossover. And I think this is such a cool concept to have the crossover split between the mid-season finales and the mid-season premieres, because we can prolong it. It's not just going to be like three nights and done. It's going to be, oh, we're going to have these three episodes, then we're going to have a break, and we're going to be speculating how the hell are these two last episodes going to conclude the crossover. I think that's a brilliant idea. I think that's absolutely great, and it's super exciting to see that. With Batwoman starting this fall, it's going to be going full throttle ahead. She's going to be in the crossover. Obviously, this confirms no Black Lightning again, I don't watch Black Lightning, I've only watched it since, well I haven't watched it since the end of season 1, but that's always been said to be a different, you know, it's completely separate show, so not a surprise there. But yeah, let's talk about this poster that was seen at the event, lots of people took photos. If you remember last year, we had that massive poster where we saw all the different characters and it sort of teased what was happening in Elseworlds. But now we have the five hours over two quarters and obviously most of these posters like the images are all reused and it's because they haven't shot anything right because they're not going to shoot the crossover for a very long time and they haven't done any like promo photos like where they've actually gone into a studio take photos with all the actors because they're all on hiatus right now so on the far left from what we can see right here we have Green Arrow and he is 
from the poster all the way back to the very first massive crossover we had, Heroes vs. Aliens, if you remember that was on the poster there. Then we have the Flash Season 5 first poster. I have to say, not a great choice because that's the one where Grant Gustin doesn't look like himself. Like, they could have chosen a better poster. But the Supergirl one, one of my favorite posters, they've taken it from that. I believe from season one actually and you had the Batwoman poster for the Elseworlds crossover actually and we have just a different shot from the monitor not sure if that was in any of the posters that may have been in the Elseworlds poster you could correct me if I'm wrong and Legends these are maybe from season two I think Mix one's from season one actually because he's got the goggles on but yeah, so they've reused some of this and they did that in the past few years and it's just for the presentation to say, look, all these heroes are going to be coming together, it's going to be mad. But what they have made and created is the background and I find this very interesting and someone pointed this out. See behind Supergirl and the Flash and Batwoman, you see there is some sort of dust cloud, it seems like there is something behind the buildings. It looks an awful lot like the shape of the anti-monitor and I could be going crazy but people have pointed that out to me on Twitter so you know I'm not the only one thinking that so is that a teaser in the Photoshop that they've just put in the background this sort of ominous figure just in the rubble in the background the silhouette of the anti-monitor so let me know do you think I'm going crazy or do you actually think that maybe that is a teaser for what's to come and yeah so they have created this poster on purpose and otherwise it would just be like normal clouds normal sky like you see behind Supergirl so I think it's been created and you see the rubble on the ground and all the explosions destroying the buildings so yeah I'm super excited I can't wait to talk about that some more and this is obviously going to be massive because this is the big crossover event we've been waiting for and it seems like this is even bigger than expected because we expected it to be big and we hoped for it to be like a five day crossover and you know they've actually f full on gone for it and I think it's great that they're allowing it some time to breathe so you can actually focus on all of these characters not have to jam pack a load in you can introduce new characters because crisis is so big you have all these characters if you have ever read the comics there is a shit ton of characters it's basically most of the characters from dc because it includes all the multiverse and they all have to band together to stop psycho pirate and the anti-monitor but you know the anti-monitor is the overarching villain and they all have to band together with the help of Pariah, who we actually have on Arrow, who is Lila Michaels. So I'm guessing another version of her is going to come in, going to be in this crossover. We have Alexander Luthor. I'm presuming he's going to come in. They definitely can do him because they've got Lena. They've got Lex on Supergirl right now. So it's definitely a possibility. And they also have the chance to introduce these different versions of our characters like, say, Superman from Earth 2. I think that would be super intriguing because he's a big part in the comics. And I think instead of killing Supergirl and the Flash, obviously we have the teaser that maybe Green Arrow's going to die, Oliver's going to die. But I'm guessing there's going to be more than just, say, Oliver dying. So what happens if we get introduced to Superman from Earth 2? They twist the comics instead of Supergirl. It's in fact going to be Superman from Earth 2 that dies, and then you have, say, Jay Garrick, just a normal Jay Garrick who dies, or maybe Wally West or something. So you can bring back lots of characters, even if it's just for small cameos. Maybe you, you're killing them off, like maybe you see the Accelerated Man, then he dies, and that's it, because, you know, it's just a nice little cameo. Maybe we see the Smallville characters, we know Tom Welling's coming to Arrow. Is he going to be in the crossover? Will he be a different version of Superman? I don't know, but I think there's a whole range of possibilities, and I really do expect, and I really hope, to see lots of new characters, even if they're just there to die, just to, you know, bring it into the fold and introduce it, just for like a moment, just for Crisis, like feed us what we want, and I think they'll all be very good, and we'll be all very happy, and I'm pretty sure like whatever they do, we're going to be happy, because, you know, Crisis is such a beloved thing, and they've 
really delivered on like every crossover so far so let me know what do you think of all of this in the comments down below i'm super excited for the crossover and super excited to see your opinions on this poster do you think the anti monitors is actually in the background is it a teaser but also what's your hype levels for the crossover have you read the comics or not so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to be at the Ultimates tomorrow in Birmingham in England. So please say hi if you see me. Follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show and Instagram at the DC TV Show to stay up to date with me over the summer. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.